Well, this is the one that everybody has been waiting for. For the second time, it's Hugh Russell against Davy Larmer. Russell, the defending British bantamweight champion, Larmer, the challenger in the old dark red shorts. And Russell with the royal blue shorts with the broad yellow waistband and the strife. Two Belfast men fighting once again for the British Bantamweight title. Five months ago in October in the Ulster Hall here in Belfast, it was Russell who got the decision on points in a final eliminator. But he's kept his word to Davy Larmer and said he would give him a crack at the title as soon as he won it. And Russell, having beaten John Feeney, has now honored that promise and has given Davy Larmer some 11 years his senior the chance to take that title. Russell the Southpaw. Oh, there's little red, that crop of red curly hair, Davy Larmer, sprouting a new moustache. Not quite the same luxuriant growth of hair. This fight is anything like their final eliminator. Well, this very big crowd at the King's Hall are in for a rare treat. Great friends, these two outside the ring, but as everybody well knows, once you get in there, well, there's no friendship whatsoever. And the Nice piece of footwork from Hugh Russell making Larmer miss, getting out, getting himself out of trouble, the British Bantamweight champion. Harry Gibbs, one of the most experienced referees in the world, towering over these two tiny men. And just that bit heavier, Oldstone 5 as opposed to Hugh Russell's 8-3 and a half. Tremendous support here in the King's Hall for both boxers. So the end of round one, and if it keeps up at this cracking face, what a fight we're in for. And already a little smear of blood above the left eyebrow of Davy Larmer. So that right hand of Hugh Russell doing a little bit of damage already, and Larmer has been cut once or twice rather badly in the past, and again Russell just clipping him with that right hand, and as we come up to the end of the first round, well, David Larmer, the right eye will need some attention. The second round of the scheduled 12-rounder for the British Bantamweight title. Two great friends, Hugh Russell and David Armour. But what a pace they started at and what a pace they're continuing. At Armour coming forward all the time, determined to try to wrest this title from Hugh Russell and so become the sixth Belfast man to be British Bantamweight champion. Who last met Russell has had three fights one of those of course was the one in which he took the title from John Feeney in the Ulster Hall in January uh, Larmer has had just one stopping Dave George on that very same bill and uh, Larmer now intent to try to stop Russell and they're going at it hammer and tongs well so far this Contest living up to everybody's expectations. for this fight than he's done for any before and is determined to 
He can much better show of it than he did. Again, that little smear of blood just coming as she Russell dances out of the way of the challenger. But that little bit of blood over the right eye of Davy Larmer must be causing some anxious moments in his corner. Also that southpaw right hand, and once again, and once again, Hugh Russell getting that right hand in. Now we're coming forward, but Russell just easing himself out of trouble. to the final half minute of the second round and nothing at all between the two of them. Harry Gibbs, the referee, just having a close look at the clash of heads. Nice right hand from Larmer, just pushing Russell back in the ropes. He bounces off the ropes as the champion. the end of a very busy round indeed. And a nice little piece of action in the middle of the round. Both boxers going at each other well and Russell getting himself out of a tight situation. Two down, ten to go. At least it's scheduled for twelve. Only twelve the last time they met. And then Russell won on points. Very narrow margin and in the closing stage of the fight. He just did enough. And both men were very badly cut above the eyes to get the decision. And David Lawler has vowed that he's going to reverse that and not leave here tonight, he says, until that British title is his. Russell using that 11 year or so age advantage, slightly quicker on the feet. And Larmer, and Larmer, oh, a good right hand from Larmer, and that caught you, Russell. Larmer probably determined to try to close this fight down as early as possible. Gibbs to both of them for a touch of holding. And Terry Gibbs, I think, quite rightly, because it's got a little bit well, scrappy and moly in there, so he's, just, he's had a word with him to try to step up the boxing and never mind the wrestling. So just poking out that side for right. Which hasn't been that effective in this third round because there hasn't been any sign of any blood from the left eye. But David Armour and Armour very, very determined, trying to get rid of this man as quickly as possible. Right. Up to the end of round three, right hand from Armour, not terribly effective that time. Coming up to the end of the third round and the pace. Well, dropping just a little bit. Furious in the first two, but a bit quieter in that one. <laughs> 